Let's get into the first question. We're not wasting no time. Right. This is a question from one of our uh, viewers, one of, one of our followers on IG. And the question was, how do you stay when the communication isn't working in your relationship? I think that was a good question. So I'm going to yeah. live this one on up to down. <laughs> and get this one okay. Um, well, what I want to say is that typically when it comes to communication, it's not necessarily what you're saying to the person. It could be how you're saying it to the person and they're not receiving it well. So you guys are continuing to have a misunderstanding when it comes to communication and you feel like it's not working. So what I would say to you is probably um, look back on how you've communicated to your partner. Is it a way that they will understand? Um, I guess it's similar to like the love languages, right? So we all learn our love languages because we all love differently and we receive love differently. And that's the same thing that comes with communication. Right. So um, a lot of people are going to receive a certain type of communication that someone else may not. So you have to understand, you know, how your partner communicates, how they receive um, something that they're being told and try to um, tell them what you need in a way that they can understand um and not necessarily just throwing a lot of stuff at them because that could be you know something that's hindering you guys understanding each other or it feeling like the communication isn't necessarily working right right i think a lot of people a lot of people when it comes to communication where they go wrong is they we tend to communicate out of our emotions instead of from our logic and anytime that we get in our emotions, look, we know it's going to be emotions change with the wind. Yeah. They're very sporadic. And we end up, that's how you hit a turn. Well, I said something I really didn't mean to say. It. Mm -hmm. But but you said it at the end of the day. Right. Um, so we got to stay away from emotions. And the only way that we can do that, I would stay away from communicating in our emotions. And the only way that I feel that we can do that, you just got to, you got to be mature, man. Uh, relationships are not for immature people. At the end of the day, I'm just, <laughs> they're not, not if you're going to have a success, success, successful, Jesus, I can't talk to yes. you, a successful relationship and a healthy one, they're not for immature people. Right. We have to be, we can't be the type of person, uh, anytime your partner brings up an issue mm -hmm. or brings up, uh, criticizes something, give you some, um, what's the word, uh, critiques you about anything. Mm -hmm. Constructive criticism, that's the word I was, I was looking for. Anytime your partner gives you constructive criticism, you can't get in your feelings. You can't, you can't get jump on the defense, um, get in your emotions. Um, and then that's how communicating starts to go awry. Because we start to talk to each other in our emotions. Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to hear nothing Dominique got to say now because I ain't like the way she said it. I don't care if she a thousand percent right. I don't like the way she said it because she talked to me like she was crazy. So I, don't, I ain't trying to hear it. Um, so you got to be mature, man. You got to be a mature adult. So I would say a lot of times we try to focus on how and we like to change the way that we um, deliver things to our spouse or to our significant other. And a lot of times we just got to go back to the drawing board and work on the stuff within. We got to get ourselves together. We got to grow. We got to evolve into a type of person that doesn't get in our emotions when we try to communicate. That we, we communicate with our logic. Um, and not with our emotions. Right. And then sometimes we just got to do that. And it's a, I think there was a two-pronged question because you said, how do you stay? Yeah. So how do you stay when the emotions aren't there? I mean, when the feelings aren't there, I can't effect, effectively right. get my point across to Dominique. So anytime you go a length or a period of time where you're not effectively communicating, you're going to be feeling like you're going to feel real empty. You're going to be feeling like you're not getting what you need. Um, so, and I think the way that you do that, sometimes you just got to go back. You got to remember why you love this person in the first place. I think that's one thing that keeps you there when the feelings and the emotions aren't there. Um, and you got to be intentional about doing that. Um, we actually did a, uh, a, one of our date nights the other night, but we just took a trip down memory lane. We just took a trip, got our phones, looked up, went through old pictures of us, uh, throughout our dating process. Um, just to go down memory lane and those type of things, John, look, it's like a jump start to your emotions. They jump start the love, the feelings that you had a long time ago from the memories that you created. So, so you got to be intentional about remembering why you 
why are you with this person in the first place? And I think that's a huge part of being able to stay when that communication is off and those feelings aren't there. Yeah. So give yourself, give yourself and your partner a chance to fix it before you think about leaving. And then once you've done all the things that we've suggested and maybe a little more and things still aren't changing, then at that point you may want to reevaluate the relationship. But we hope that answered your question. Um, if it didn't, let us know. If it did, let us know. If y'all have, have questions, if y'all have questions, <laughs> of course, you guys can always leave them below in the comments. You can contact us anywhere on social media at No Longer Single. That's K N O W Longer Single. And that's gonna be it for today, guys. We'll holla at you. Peace out. Bye.